Ever since I was born, I've had this disease. I got it from my father, who got it from his mother, and me and my brother both have it. My name is Chris Gilman, and I was born with a very rare genetic disease named epidermolysis bullosa. Growing up with epidermal isoblosa, which is also known as EB, is, is a tough thing to do, um, especially if you're a boy and you're interested in sports. When I was younger, I used to get blisters a lot more often. I used to play sports on the weekend, have my feet blister up so that I was not able to walk and I would crawl around, and then I would use an electric wheelchair every day in school until the next weekend when my feet were better so I could play sports again. And this cycle just continued and continued. A lot of times my friends would be going off to the baseball field. They'd call me to say, do you want to come and play? And I'd have to say, geez, I'd love to, but I just can't really do much on my feet today. I used to always get a lot of questions about why I rode around in a wheelchair. Um, I would get, why are you in a wheelchair? What's wrong with your feet? Why is it that one day you are walking perfectly fine and the next you're in a wheelchair and you have to have help to get to your seat? It was one of those things that I would try to explain as best as I could to kids, but I knew that they just, they really didn't understand it that well. I found myself a lot of times doing things on my own. Um, my friends would be at the ballpark um, and it hurt. By the time I got to high school, I realized I had to do something. I was sick of just letting the blisters win. So I started working on controlling my feet. I've learned that a huge part of my epidermal lysis blosa is mental. Uh, if I do not stress, I do not get blisters as bad. I have also realized that certain sports, such as one that I recently found named parkour, where I do flips because I am so happy during it. My body almost doesn't let me get blisters, so I can do flips for hours on end. And because I'm so happy, my body just does not get any blisters on my feet or my hands. There are many different forms of epidermal lysis bullosa. And for me, I have the mildest form of EB. I have it where I mainly get blistering on my hands, my feet, and in my mouth. I get it on my hands and feet from pressure, so when I walk around for long distances or if I'm running during a sport, if I feel like my feet are starting to hurt, I'll take a break from whatever sport I'm playing and I'll sit down. So when I was younger, I used to wrap my feet with Bactroban and gauze and soak my feet in salt water, and these were all techniques to treat the blisters. There's no real cure as of now on how to get rid of them. It's just you treat the pain. And that's just one of those things that kind of stunk when I was younger. I'll also use pain medications such as Tonal, Motrin, just things to relieve the pain when the blisters are really hurting. I also wear sandals most of the year because I realized that a shoe will heat up my foot and cause me to get more blisters, but a sandal lets my feet stay aired out, stay cool, and uh, reduces the blisters that I get. A lot of kids don't understand what you're going through. Uh, so I was pretty much by myself a lot of the time. But what it did do is it, I learned how to do different things. I got into gardening and uh, helping other people do things uh, that I probably normally wouldn't have done. One thing that I really don't regret is having this disease because it's really helped me learn how to deal with everyday, everyday things, even really big stressors in my life. Um, it's made me really realize how good, bad things can be for you. It really helps you learn how to get better. And I would never wish for my life to be any different, but I do wish for a cure, not for myself really, but much more for these other kids that it's unbearable to live with.